Over the past 24 hours, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter. Yes, I'm going to keep calling it Twitter, not X. It's so stupid. Uh, anyways, yes, that Bitcoin is going to drop to 20,000, to 15,000, to 12,000, 10,000, even $9,000. There's some people that say eight and, and below. My, you, you guys haven't been around this space for very long and it's obvious. Okay. But the truth is I have been around for more than a decade now. And I can tell you through data, actually, I'm going to go over it right now. So the data on the 2016 to 2018 bull market, let's go over this. Remember 2016 started out. I mean, it was around 360 something dollars, right? Went all the way to $20,000. But can you imagine people holding through this? Check this out. Now let's go over six instances where there was panic selling during the bull market. Now, the reason why I'm covering 2016 to 18 was because it was the first global bull market. Before, it was just a handful of us like experiencing crazy amounts of volatility and nobody would really hold our hands at that time. But now let's go over this. So the first uh, downdraft that we had, the first pullback was 38%. Keep in mind, this is from 300 bucks all the way down up to $20,000. Imagine you holding through this, right? Then it proceeded to go up and then it dropped 38% again. Then it went up again. Next one, 33%. Then it went up again. 38% drop. The next one was 36% drop. And the final one was 29% drop. And then we went on a parabolic rise, which was absolutely nuts. Yes. So this is what happens. We are at 20% right now. Maybe. Buy the dip. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking about dying, buying the dip. If you are a CT club member, the link is down below. I, we just had had three of our micro caps hit all time highs today while the rest of the market is getting nuked. That's awesome. And we've taken profits. Every time we double, we take profits. Uh, I'm loving this market, by the way. Now, let's go over to Stock Money Lizards on Twitter. He says, Bitcoin is slowly turning, turning bullish after this massive sell off. Daily RSI, like I talked about yesterday, be, is below the FTX crash level now. And, and remember, uh, two days ago, hold on. Oh my gosh. That was sick. I'm so keeping that in. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's next wave. No, you can't keep this in. This is when a surfer tries to do a crypto YouTube channel. Oh my channel. <laughs> gosh. That was an amazing wave. Okay. So what was I saying? <laughs> The RSI. Oh yeah, yeah. So the RSI hit a 5.7 yesterday, which was the lowest it's been, the daily RSI, the lowest it's been since this entire bear market, all right? Very bullish, completely oversold, and yeah, guess who's buying? BlackRock. BlackRock. Of course they are. Now, let's move over to the FTX. So, you know, we talked about a little bit about the FTX collapse. Let's talk about Sam Bankman Freed wants to be released from prison five days a week so he can work on his defense. Wow, this guy's out of control. You know what he wants to do. He just don't wants to pull another rug pull like the that bald uh, coin that he did. Uh, what is about a month ago or whatever? Yes, he did a rug pull from his uh, house arrest. This guy is nonstop. He's ruthless. He doesn't give or care about you. You should probably stay away from everything that he does. But keep in mind that he has given a lot of it's given one third of Congress uh, a lot of money. To keep him out of jail and keep him keep him rolling. You know what I mean? They're all bought and paid for if you haven't realized that. Anyways, moving on, we have two weeks until the SEC's deadline to respond to black the BlackRock spot. Bitcoin ETF application. I would think that the SEC is going to deny that. D deny. Obviously, ba BlackRock owns the SEC, right? So BlackRock's like, well, wow, I'm buying a lot of Bitcoin right now during this dip. 
probably going to want to keep it going, right? Wouldn't you if you were BlackRock and you own the SEC? I definitely would. So keep that in mind. Don't panic if they don't pass it right away. They will eventually pass this Bitcoin spot ETF and BlackRock will, in my opinion, is going to be the first one. All right, that's all. Please like and subscribe. Check us down below if you want to see what coins we are getting into for the CT Club. Talk to you soon.